still wrong. So here we are with Ross Scheidler, a professor of Scandinavian and Comparative Literature and Associate Dean in the Graduate Division. Welcome. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. We're going to talk about Tomas Trans Tromer, uh, who has just been selected for the Nobel Prize in Literature. Is it surprising that the Swedish Academy chose one of its own? Uh, yes, it is. It's a major, uh, they're, they're very reluctant to do that. And I think they spent a long time deciding that they would do it. But he is really a, a major international poet. And um, they clearly recognized that it was time to be able to award one, this prize to one of their own. How influential has Transformer been in his country and elsewhere? He, he, extraordinarily influential. I mean, that's certainly one of the reasons they, they chose him, is because when his early volumes were published, um, they were absolutely sort of revolutionary in terms of their minimal style and language. They could suggest huge amounts in the fewest possible words. And that uh, style of poetry spread, I think, throughout uh, all of Europe and influenced uh, poets from a, a wide range of people. What are some themes of his work? It's difficult. He is uh, a kind of everyday visionary, I suppose. Uh, it's hard to pin him down because he starts always with the very, very simple image and then extends that uh, up to really metaphysical levels. I mean, he, he clearly is interested in the connection between the most trivial moment and um, the spiritual, I suppose. And um, I understand that he's interested in the natural world, oh, bug yes. collector. Yes. Yeah, he's, I mean, one, um, he's a psychologist. He's worked as a psychologist for years. He also is a, was a very gifted piano player. Uh, but he loves nature and he collects things. And he's, um, he, he's completely involved, really, in sort of everyday life. And, but has still been able to produce a, a, an extensive amount of poetry of this very refined, delicate type. Yeah, I read it was something like 15 collections of books yeah, translated yeah. across 60 languages. Yeah, no, it, it's amazing. Very prolific. Yeah, yeah. I understand that he had a stroke in the 1990s. What, what was that impact? It was, it was huge um, because it was a, a severe stroke. And... He couldn't talk. Um, he had lost some of the ability to move parts of his body. And he very gradually worked. I mean, he worked long and hard um, to recover his ability to at least play the piano with one hand, uh, gradually to be able to speak. He, he kept writing. Um, and it, it took him several years. I mean, it was a real real challenge. Um, but he gradually managed to sort of maintain his productivity and to be able to do that. And he, he functions now uh, relatively well. And I understand he actually was able to even return to the piano? Yes, yes. Uh, from the last time I saw him, he was sort of mostly one-handed, but I think he, he was able to do it. And he loves music. Music's part of his, a theme of his, his poetry. So I understand that you've brought him to campus on two occasions. What's he like as a person? What was his visit He's like? He's a very, very gentle and kind person. It, it really re remarkable. Um, the Scandinavian section at, at UCLA is, was always really sort of important in terms of recognition in Scandinavia. So poets and authors would often come to UCLA. And Thomas Transformer came as part of a um, group of, of poets at different times and gave readings. Um, we went out to dinner, we socialized. It was really wonderful for us, um, but consistent with the section. Do you have a favorite poem of Transformer? There are lots of favorite poems that I really like. Um, I could, I, there's one that are sort of suggestive. He, to give you an idea, this is an earlier poem. Um, there are there's several, one in his earlier volumes, but um, can I read one? Sure. Oh, okay. I like this is, that. This is, 
this is called The Couple, and it's from uh, really his, his breakthrough volume, which was, was so powerful. Um, and it, it's called The Couple, and it, it goes, They turn the light off, and its white globe glows an instant and then dissolves like a tablet in a glass of darkness, then arising. The hotel walls shoot up into heaven's darkness. Their movements have grown softer and they sleep, but their most secret thoughts begin to meet like two colors that meet and run together on the wet paper in a schoolboy's painting. It is dark and silent. The city, however, has come nearer tonight with its windows turned off. Houses have come. They stand packed and waiting very near, a mob of people with blank faces. This is a translation by Robert Bly, I think, and it gives you Transtromer and his ability to take that single, simple image of a couple together um, in a hotel room after obviously having made love. And I love the image of like a tablet in a glass of darkness as the light bulb goes out. Uh, then arising, the hotel walls shoot up into heaven's darkness. We've all had them. When you turn out the lights, suddenly the walls disappear. That wonderful moment. And then the sort of, as they go to sleep, how their two minds and bodies sort of melt together um, in this image of run together on wet paper in a schoolboy's painting. We've all, again, done that clumsily where you see watercolor run together. Yeah, I could see every image in this see, poem. This it was is, just so visual The reason beautiful. he is so great is because he, he has an uncanny ability to produce perfect, simple, clear images. He's, he's wonderfully translatable because of this, and I think that's part of the reason he's been so successful is um, these very concrete images that he goes through. He, he writes about music, he writes about nature. He, he always has an ability to just be as concise as possible and then take it up to um, a, a visionary or almost mes metaphysical level. I know you're a poet yourself. Has he been influential in your work in any way? Oh, I wish I could say. <laughs> Uh, yes, he certainly was um, in my in those years when I was writing more poetry, because everybody would love to be able to produce that kind of clear, concrete imagery. Um, he's consistent with what the American Imagist movement and stuff. But in in Scandinavia and indeed in, in modern literature, I think he is is unique in his ability to capture uh, natural images everyday images and to turn them into dazzling uh, moments.